What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, this here is the Bitmain Antminer S19J Pro. And this is the 100 terahash model. And I've been running it for a while now. And unfortunately, we just ran into some issues. Let me show you exactly what's going on. All right, so we're in our crypto mining closet here. It's pretty much just a storage closet I used to use for mining. I do have a 30 amp 240 volt here in the back with the PDU. And let's go ahead and get this plugged in. And I think you guys are gonna notice pretty quickly that there's a problem. So once you go ahead and plug it in, take a listen. So you can just barely, you can hear the power supply fans turn on, but where's that high pitched scream? Where's the like the high RPM fans just take off and get really loud and then they calm down? You don't get any of that. It's just quiet. And this is all really I'm hearing. I barely even hear these guys here. So let's jump over to the computer. We're gonna go to the IP address and let's see what it's saying over there. All right, so first thing that stands out to me when I load up the IP address is there's no hash boards listed. And I'm like, all right, come on. All three of the hash boards didn't go at once. Maybe one, but not all three. The second thing that stands out is look in the upper right hand corner. Bitmain BHB42XXX. What? Like it should say Antminer S19J Pro. That's traditionally what you would see up there. So something tells me there's something wonky going on here with the control board. So first thing I always like to do when I have problems with these things is I go over to Bitmain's website and let's go ahead and download the latest firmware. Even if we're already on it, let's download and reapply the latest firmware. So once we're over here, we're going to select SHA-256. We're gonna go down to S19J Pro, if we can find it, there it is. And the latest one is, wow, it's like over a year ago. But let's go ahead and download it anyways. And let's apply it. The download finished, let's go ahead and apply it here under the firmware upgrade. We'll hit update, we'll give it about five minutes and then we'll check back to see if it's made any change at all. All right, so firmware has been applied and unfortunately no change at all. So let's throw this on the table behind me, let's open it up and see if anything stands out about the control board. Listen up miners, I gotta ask, what mining pool do you have your ASICs on? Now the bigger question, why? Reliability, security, profitability, and uptime are must-haves for serious crypto miners. All reasons why I've been running my new Bitcoin, Caspa, and Script miners on ViaBTC.com. ViaBTC.com has a unique, one-of-a-kind mining mechanism called Smart Mining, which unlocks higher returns for Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash miners. In addition, what sets ViaBTC.com apart is their hourly payouts, auto withdrawal, and conversion system, which I gotta say is super convenient. Go check out ViaBTC.com today via the link in today's video description and tell them the hobbyist miner sent you. So let's scoot you over here. We'll take a better look here. I'll zoom in a little bit. All right, so at first glance, so we have power coming from our power supply back here. Nothing's going on there. You know, all of our fan cables are plugged in. Not that I'm concerned with that there. And we have our cable going from our power supply up to our control board. Now here's all of our ribbon cables coming in. These are the J JS ports is what they're called. Uh, I think it's, what does it go? One, two, three, I think. Um, not 100% positive, but I believe that's what they are. Um, and at first glance, I don't see anything problematic about the control board. I don't see like 
a capacitor blown or anything burnt or anything like that but that doesn't doesn't mean anything necessarily um, but everything looks good uh, i'm not even like i could go through and reseed all these cables but it's like why like not all three three of them are problematic right now they're all in here nice and secure so my next thought is is the control board bad um, and the only real way to test that is to have a replacement control board. And in that case, I am super lucky. I've had my hands on this Epic control board for months and never had a chance or a need really for it until today. So these Epic control boards are super unique. So check this out. These boards allow you to really take your Bitcoin mining to an entirely different level. Think like a tinkerer's best friend for ASIC mining because of the epic custom firmware that comes on these boards so you could do things like overclocking with like preset profiles which is perfect for me you can auto tune and you can tune it for a set hash rate or for a set amount of watts uh, in addition to that you can customize a boatload of more things that i'm still getting into that i'm still learning about and get this the big one about these two is the fact that there is no mining fee for using the firmware or these boards. It's kind of a one-time cost. You just pay extra for these control boards and you get everything one time. Uh, if you guys want, I'll put a link directly down below to Altair Tech. You can go over there and pick these up. In addition to that, I actually have a discount code for Altair Tech. So that'll get you additional discount off of the price listed. Go check it out, I'll put a link down below. But let's go ahead and install this and see if this fixes my issue. All right, so let's get this apart. The I am not looking forward to removing these ribbon cables because they suck to go ahead and take off. These clips are so hard. So we'll remove our fan cables now and then we'll remove the power cable. There we go. All right, that's easy enough. These three are a nightmare. I always hate doing these. Let me cut, there's a zip tie right here. Let me cut that and make it a little bit easier. We'll put one back in place once we're done. That one wasn't bad. All right, these are not bad. I thought they'd be terrible. Oh, this one maybe, it like kills your fingers. All right, so this one's done. So we're gonna slide this one out. We have our Epic control board now. And we'll just slide this one in. All right, and I'm not even gonna like put the lid on and stuff like the cover on and stuff like that. I know it's a little dangerous, but I'm not even gonna do that because I don't even know if this is gonna work. So let's just get everything plugged back in and then we'll see what happens. Oh, is this fan not gonna work? Okay, there we go. For some reason that fan was not going on. I thought it was me. I thought it was like, oh no, not compatible or something. Okay, those are on. This is a little bit of a stretch farther than I would have expected. Is that normal? Is it back all the way? Yeah, it looks back all the way. This is a little bit tighter than I like. Um, let me see, I can go underneath of this power cable here. There we go. Maybe that'll give me a little, yep, look at that, perfect. I just need a little more slack, which is good. We'll just have to tuck it there and these don't matter what ports they go in, meaning like which one goes where, but I don't think you can plug into this top one. Not positive, maybe you guys know better than me, but I don't think you can plug into that guy. All right, come on. Oh, is that not gonna work? There we go. All right, let's, uh, let's get this plugged in and see what happens. All right guys, so we're over at my ASIC mining shed. I was gonna go ahead and continue the video at home, but this thing was way too loud. And I thought, mm, let's get this over to the shed. So we powered it up. It's sounding normal, not like it did before, which is a good sign. Let's jump over to the, my computer workstation here and see exactly if this Epic control board fixes my problem. Check this out. We are up and hashing. All it was was a control board. Oh, I'm so thankful. By the way, this is the first time I've literally ever booted or seen the Epic control board firmware. This is slick looking. 
This is pretty badass. I could do an entire video on this. If you guys are interested, let me know down below. We can do a whole video on this. I know of a few odd and ends in here. Um, there's some really cool features. I love this homepage dashboard, by the way. Like you got your fans across the board, your voltages. Look at this, your board. That's each of the boards. Now, what makes this you know, so unique too, and, and I'm very new to this. I literally spent like five minutes in here. I went into mining config and I put in my nice hash address as well as my wallet information, got it mining. But check it out, there's a performance tab and you could adjust your megahertz as well as your voltage for like your mining and tuning. Um, I don't see any presets in here. I'm not sure if you create those or not. You could adjust your fans. Now this is interesting. Perpetual tune, perpetual tune algorithm. Switching to a tuned algorithm will automatically set the miner to an optimal state unless the target is changed. So check that out. That is sick. You can set it to the voltage or to a chip tune. I've never messed with these at all. It looks like I'm, I'm right now I'm on the voltage at 97 terahash with this unit and that's pretty freaking dang close. This is awesome. Oh, I'm so happy that this wasn't something more major like power supply or even worse, hash boards. Can you imagine if all three of the hash boards were bad? That would have been a mess. All right, guys, that is going to wrap things up for today. Another Bitcoin ASIC miner saved and we're back up and running. Huge shout out to Altair Tech and that Epic control board. Guys, if you guys are interested in them, I'll put links directly down below and I have a discount code. So it not only helps you with your wallet, but also gives me back something in commission, which I would really appreciate. Links to everything down below, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. You know quantum computers. You know blockchain. But do you know both together? Dynex was the first platform to create a neuromorphic supercomputing blockchain-based algorithm which solves real-world problems. And the best part? Anyone can post a job, whether a company from the Global 2000, a machine learning job, or fintech and pharmaceutical. And if you don't want to program it yourself, get an expert directly at the marketplace. Run the job and be impressed by the fast result.